Quinn, how are you guys doing? I It's a great day today. Where I bet it's raining right now. Um, but we are going to have an awesome, hi Jenny, we're going to have an awesome little chat today. And I want you to, to understand that regardless of what industry you're in, I know that you guys know that I'm a coach, um, but it doesn't matter what industry you're in, this actual live is going to help you today. Whether you're a real estate agent, a lender, an attorney, um, you have your own business, you're a local professional, whatever it might be, you're in the right place today because we're gonna teach you ways to actually increase your business while your clients before they even meet with you. So you have more credibility and you are more likely to actually want them to work with you. Hi Deborah. hi John, hi Shelly, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Um, okay, so I want you to understand this concept. Think about something. You are always on a job interview. You're what? You're always on a job interview. What that means is, is that anything, good morning, Lucia, anything that you do, anything that you produce, anything that you touch basically is a reflection of how that you run your business. And people are always thinking when they see items that you produce, whether it's a video, a PDF, a marketing, um, marketing materials, whether it's your sign on the front of your store, the sign in front of someone's yard, whether it's your business card, whether it's your desk, whether it's the way that you, your appearance, they are subconsciously making decisions about you and how you are actually going to interact with them when you actually do do business with them. Is that making sense to you? So if it's making sense to you, say, give me some hearts, let me know. I wanna know what's working and what's interacting with you guys. Hi, good morning, Laura, good morning, Wendy. So you have to understand that is that m many times when people are thinking about doing business with somebody, um, I know a lot of you think that it's just it's instant, right? But they're really, really not. They're assessing. Think about you and your purchasing or when you're gonna go work with somebody. Do you just instantly go and make that interaction? Do you just walk into somebody's office and say, hey, I want you to sell my house, or hey, I want you to be my new attorney, or hey, I want you to be my new doctor. No, you don't. What do you do? You research, you look at, you look at reviews, you see what, other people think about them. You kind of see what content they have and they have out there. You're always on a job interview. People are always assessing whether or not they want to work with you, whether or not you're going to be the right professional to work with them. So let me give you an ex example. Hi, Jenny. Hi, it's Annalise. How are you? Let me give you an example of what I mean by this. We're just going to use real estate, but I want you to understand that this works for any industry or any business. So let's say you're a real estate agent and you produce, you know, you know, you need to do a flyer, let's say, right? You're going to do a flyer. So this could be an example of the flyer that you produce, right? It could be this, um, or let's just do something else, or it could be this. Okay. This is in color, or it could be a four page glossy color brochure. When people look at this black and white flyer based upon the four page color brochure that person over there is doing, they're in their mind thinking, wow, this is really good quality stuff. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Alex. This is good quality stuff. Uh, this person actually cares about their business. They're putting time and effort and attention to detail in their business, in what they're doing. Everything that you produce is a replication of what you do and the services that you provide. You have to understand that. So it's imperative that when you are thinking about how you're positioning yourself to your client, which I call your client avatar, who you're trying to actually attract, that everything that they're seeing about you is giving them the impression that you want to give them. Make sense? So basically, if you, um, again, well, let's go back to real estate. Let's, let's not even do real estate. Let's just say you are searching for an attorney. Let's say, good morning, Richard. How are you? Good morning, David. Let's say you're searching for an attorney. And guys, guess what? I've got a little a PDF that I can give you. So if you just comment at all on here, you're going to get access to that free, that free PDF. So just say, yes, I want one, or just say hi, and you will get, um, or give me the PDF. You're going to get a little PDF that basically just reminds you of why it's so important for you to understand that you're always on a job interview. So go ahead and comment below, and we'll get that to you. Um, we'll just send it to you right, right in Messenger. So I'll honestly, think about this. You are basically showing the world whether you're a pro or you're an amateur at what you do based upon your marketing and how you show up, things that you talk about, how you, your appearance, your desk, the way it looks. You know, when they walk into the office, how are they greeted? How are they treated, right? How are they greeted? How are they treated? That rhymes. You, everything that you do is a reflection of how you are going to serve that client, whether it's a product you're selling or a service you're selling. If you're a professional, everything that you produce, any content, any marketing, any anything is a reflection of you and how you run your business. How are you going to treat them? That is why with me, all of my marketing materials are absolutely 
are pristine, awesome, right? They're cut, they're in color. They are done by professionals. Uh, they they look very very nice because I want to make sure that people know, hey, when you work with me, that's the quality, that's the level of service and interaction that you're going to have with me all the way until the end. So I want you to think about how you know. Um, here's another real estate example. Uh, hi, Deborah. Here's another real estate example. When somebody, most people will do ads on Facebook or they'll, they'll tell people, hey, what's my home worth, right? Give me, give me an evaluation of what's my home worth. I want what, what's my home worth. I want to know. 99% of agents will just send an email showing them what their home is worth. Do you know what a pro will do? A pro person will actually do a CMA or do whatever that thing is that they're, that they're requesting and they will hand deliver it to their house in a beautiful custom uh you know, in a beautiful marketing package and deliver it to their house. Then they'll follow it up with a, call, a phone call saying, hey, I want to make sure that you got that package on your door. Did you get that? Okay, great. Let me know if you need anything else. Then they'll follow it up with a card saying, hey, wanted to make sure that that was that, um, you'll get it, Mar Marcelo, Marcelo. Was that, was that packet helpful for you? Did it help? Then they'll put them on a drip campaign. That's the difference between working with a pro and working with an amateur. An amateur just sends the email, sets it and forgets it. The pro takes it to the next level, drops off a beautiful something, make, follows it up with a phone call, sends a business card, puts them on their CRM, follows up again a month later. That's what a pro does. When somebody sees that you are doing that and taking, taking that much action before you're ever even working with them, hi, Andrea, how are you? What happens? What does that mean? That means that they are seeing how you are going to treat them through the life cycle of that business relationship. It, it makes sense, doesn't it? And they're saying to themselves, wow, if this person is taking this much time and this much attention on this much detail to get me all this stuff before I'm even working with them, what's it going to be like when I'm actually working with them? Is it going to be like the person that just sent the email and said it and forget it? Or is it it's going to be like this pro? That's the difference. You are actually showing them the quality of your effort. So the quality of your efforts and what you are doing is showing that prospective client what it is going to be like when you work with them at later on in the transaction. And it happens from every phase of when they interact with you, right? What are you sending them? What are they getting? How are you showing up? If you're, like for example, right now, okay? Um, let me just give you an idea of what I mean by this. Look at my background, okay? What, what is my background? My background shows, it shows that I've got, right, some, some, some awards there, okay? It shows, let's kind of look. It shows right here, you know, if you, if you put this down, it shows, right, that I was a top agent. And then we show that I've got two different, two comma club awards. If you can see that, um, it shows that I was a top professional, right? It also shows that I'm a very positive person. That's what, that's what my background shows. It's intentional. People know that when they work with me, they're working with a pro because of what I'm showing them. Now, I could come onto this video right now and look like a hot mess and I don't have my makeup on and I'm just like, like that, right? Sorry. <laughs> so that could be me. And then you're thinking, wow, that she just came on this video. Her bet, you know, if my background was all messy, she's that's how she's gonna interact with me. She doesn't care enough about me to actually show up on this video and have a nice background, be well dressed, and be prepared. Right. Then we're gonna give you a PDF and we're saying now we're we're, we're gonna give you information. Now we're gonna follow it up with a nice PDF. When you comment, say yes, I want one, you'll get that. Because I'm showing you that I'm taking you full circle, right? I'm actually here and you're gonna get at least a yes, Christina, we'll give it to you. We're, we're showing you that we care about this interaction. You're seeing that based upon what's in my background. You're seeing that based upon the fact that I'm, I'm dressed and ready to go. You wouldn't notice it because these nails, I lost two nails today and I'm like, ah, <laughs> I need to get my nails done. Um, so you wouldn't, you would, you see it from the way I'm presenting myself, okay? Also, it shows that I pay attention to detail. If I'm paying attention to detail, and if you're paying attention to detail now, you're gonna do that in the transaction with that client, with that perspective, your perspective person that you're trying to go after. Every single thing you do in your business is a reflection of who you are, how you run your business, and the product and service that you're going to give to that client, that potential client. Does that make sense? So remember that, you taking uh, care and consideration in everything before you meet the client lets them know that that's what you're going to do once they're actually your client. That's why it's so important to go above and beyond and to realize that in every aspect of your business, you are on a job interview. People are watching you. They're looking at you. They're stalking you. They're going to your Facebook page. They're looking at your marketing materials. They're seeing what your office looks like. They're seeing what your reviews are. They are seeing everything. Hi, Shelby, watching you while getting mine done. Oh, good. <laughs> That's great. So that's very, very important. 
that you understand that, sorry guys, and that you understand that everything you do is a reflection of who you are and how you're gonna work with somebody. And, and, and lastly, what else does it do? It leaves a lasting impression, okay? I want you to know something. Um, as you guys know, prior to becoming a real estate, uh, becoming a coach, business coach, that I was a real estate agent, a top producing real estate agent. And I would make sure that any and every interaction that anybody had with me, um, that I was so emphatic about what I was delivering, right? I made sure that I had the best looking sign. I made sure that my sign stood out and looked different than everyone else's. It had lights on it, it was totally different. You would see that sign going down the street. I made sure that back in the day when people, when they didn't, you know, we didn't have uh, the internet, I used to take CDs and put CDs on the sign with all the pictures of the house. That was back then, right? When people were doing a black and white flyer, if they didn't give it at all, I did a four page colored brochure. Did it cost me more money to do that? Yes. Did I make significantly more money than my competitors? Yes. Why? Because my community saw what it was that I was doing. I would send eight and a half by 11 postcards to the entire community every time I listed a house or sold a house, letting them know it was available, right? Was anyone else doing that? No. So what do what does all of that do when I'm doing that? What why did I do that? I did it because I wanted to become memorable. I wanted people to know that this is how I market my properties. I wanted them to know that I cared about my business and I, which ultimately meant that I cared about them and that I was going to treat them well and take good care of them. That's what you need to be thinking about in your business model. What are you doing to to make sure that you're standing out amongst your competitors? that you're being different than your competitors and that you're leaving a lasting impression on those that you are trying to serve. That's what your goal should be in every aspect of your business. What impact am I making for my future? Because people are not just going all of a sudden jumping. If you're an accountant or you're a real estate agent or you're an attorney or you're even a doctor or you're a lender, People are actually looking at what you're doing before they ever actually make that jump and dive in with you. Before you dive into bed, right? You're making sure that you know who you're jumping in, jumping into bed with, especially when it comes to making such of an important decision in your business. So I want you to remember that. You're always on a job interview. Anything and everything that you do is always a reflection of you, right? When you market yourself um, in a certain manner, you're setting yourself up as the pro and not the amateur. You're becoming the expert. It shows when you are really putting forth attention in what you're doing, that you have quality and that that quality then is going to be reflected on your client. They're gonna be getting that exact same thing. It shows that you pay attention to detail and that you care about your business, which ultimately means you care about them and they're gonna have a better experience working with you and you're gonna leave a lasting impression. When I used to drop off those hand-delivered CMAs, people would pull them out of their desk and go, I got this thing from you two years ago and I kept it. Why did they keep it? Yes, David, yes. Do you guys want the PDF? Just say yes, comment below, let us know. And whether you're watching this as a replay or you're watching it live, right now it's live, but if you're watching it as a replay, you'll also get it. So just keep commenting. We'll make sure we get you that PDF. Um, and they would keep it and they said, Krista, you know, I, I don't even know what I did. I asked for something online and all of a sudden, hi, John, all of a sudden you sent me this, this thing on my doorstep and I've had it for two years. I didn't want to throw it away because it was so nice. And I said, oh, great, you know, and why did you hire me? Because you did something that nobody else did. Yeah, it's your goal in your marketing. That's your goal in your business is to be different, to stand out, to make a statement, to show people who you are prior to them ever even raising their hand and saying, yes, I want you. Because they are looking at you and watching you prior to ever getting to that step, okay? So I hope today's training help was helpful. If, you, if it was helpful, let me know. You guys know I like to see the hearts and stuff, and then I know it's working what I'm saying, so make sure you let me know. If you think this will help somebody else, please share it, please like it. I have to tell you one more thing, and this is completely off subject, but part of today, um, you'll get it, Cynthia. Part of today in my coaching, I had an amazing coaching call with my students today, and I was just, I was reminding them that you as a person, and again, this is not about what the main subject of the video was about, but I, I think it's really important. As Jim Rohn said, you're a reflection of the five people that are around you, right? So it's so, so important that we are as positive as possible in our business and that we keep a positive mindset and that we're constantly striving to be better, to be stronger, to be faster. That was the last 15 minutes of the coaching call today. And all the heads were doing this the entire time, right? I want you to understand that you are a reflection of those who you surround yourself with. And also, back to the marketing, it's the same thing in your marketing, right? Like you're a reflection of what you put out there. People can see that. I love that analogy. It wasn't even, didn't even mean to. But yes, we'll get you the Tony and we'll get you the PDF. So know that in your business, 
Keep your mind as positive as you can because what you put in your mind is what you get out of it. What you put in is what you get out. What you put in is what you get out. So keep what's in here as positive as possible. Notice how you talk to yourself. Notice things you say. Notice um, notice what, what your, your environment and what you're putting in your head because what you put in your head is what you get out on paper. It's what your life shows up like. So make sure, we'll get it for you, Janetta. Make sure that what's in there that you're, you're intentional and you're conscious about what it is that you're putting in between those those ears of yours, and that when you notice that you're not doing something or saying something to yourself or about your environment that's positive, turn it around instantly. You can instantly change your state, you can instantly change your day by changing your mindset and what goes in your head. I'm a firm believer that, that you get what you put in. You, your mind is a mental roadmap that's developed to get you what you want to do. John and John will get it for you. It's meant to get you what, what it is that you're thinking about. So think positive things. And if you're noticing you're having a bad day one day or some things just aren't working, say to yourself, oh my gosh, this is happening, but I'm, I'm noticing it right now. I'm changing it. I'm changing what I'm thinking, okay? That, oh, good, Hannah. And let me tell you something. It happens to me all the time. You, you know, one of the things being a coach that can kind of be hard is like you feel like you're kind of always on the spotlight. And sometimes my husband will say, you're a coach, babe. Don't forget. It'll remind me that I might not be, be being as positive as I need to be. But once I make, notice that, I give myself permission to change my day, to change what it, my outcome, right? Because I know that my attitude is basically a reflection of my attitude of my outcome, right? What I think about is what I get. So my 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 attitude is a reflection of my outcome. What I think is what I get. So I ensure that I'm constantly working on being as positive as I can, working on my mental state, noticing when I'm not being the way I should be and changing it. And you have the power and the ability to do that all the time. We'll get it for you, Rachel. You have the power, the ability to do that all the time. So I am going to encourage you to. So I hope today was helpful. Remember, you're always on a job interview. Anything and everything that you produce, how you show up to the world, your marketing, your office, your desk, the way you interact, the videos you put out there, every single thing that you do. And yes, Rachel, what, yes, what you focus on expands. It's so true. Um, is a reflection of you and how you do business. And it even is seen in your attitude, right? Just like this, you're always, you're always on a job interview. Think about me. I would assume that right now, if you're watching this, you can tell the kind of person that I am, right? You can tell that, number one, um, you can tell that I'm successful because I'm showing you my, my things, right? You can tell that I have a lot of energy. I'm very enthusiastic. I believe in what I'm doing, and I'm very positive. I'm on a job interview right now, right? Like I'm trying to make sure that, and I'm not faking it. This is who I am. But my attitude is a reflection of, of who I'm going to serve. My attitude and how I show up to the world is a reflection of how I'm going to do business with people. You are no different. So keep that attitude just as, just as crisp and as positive and as focused as you want your business to be later because that's what is going to show up for you in your life. So I hope this made a positive impact on you today. I really appreciate you watching. Remember, my goal is to positively affect every life that I touch. My goal is to serve. If you want that PDF, let us know. You're going to get a free copy of my book too um, as well. If you download the PDF, get a free copy of my ebook. And I have a new book coming out called Fire that launches in February, March. It's called Fire, Your Financially Independent Retire early is what it stands for. Your crappy job won't quit itself. Or we teach on people how to um, start over their phase in their life where they're starting over. We teach them how to actually make that transition and then how to market themselves to actually monetize on their new business. So anyways, make it a great day, everyone. I appreciate you watching and I will see you on Thursday for our next Facebook Live. Have a good one.